hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel and that channel is Deb Chanel's 48 Twirl where we get crazy and we get messy because all beginnings are always messy <laughs> so remember that remember that when you come to the channel because we believe in nothing but laughter good banter and take away some helpful uh, notes from the video that we were uh, privy to bring to you all but honey baby candy birds came on my timeline today and i was like look at baby girl looking all sleek like she fought in her teenage years by like she's 16 17 years old going to prom or something now she and she got those girls downsized that's what i really want to do but i'm so scared i'm 54 years old and i'm so tired of my little jokes running around him being so big and so heavy on my chest but i want to do it but it's like i don't know maybe i waited too long to get them downsized you know because i'm serious i want a cup a I want, yeah a cup a would do do me just good but i don't know but that's not about me we're talking about candy right now and we're in messyville where we like to reside from time to time okay but she is speaking on her weight loss journey and what she did to get there and i was with her until she had found me in the desert somewhere because when she was saying some of these things i was like girl you crazy as hell i'm 54 years old i ain't finna do that i'm not finna do that i love food and everybody know that knows candy she love food too but she's in a different arena and atmosphere and environment than I am. You know, I happen to like live in the reality world and uh, we love food. Okay. Now we need, we know everything needs to be done in moderation. And that's even when you're partake, partaking of something that's good, you know. But girl, I'm not in Hollywood. I ain't trying to be in Hollywood. I ain't trying to impress nobody. Anything that will come out of me exercising, eating well, is because of my health. <laughs> it's not because how I want to have the correct optics to be shown and looked at and photographed all the time. And I think, you know, she's in a conundrum type situation where she wants to be able to still live life, eat, and don't have to worry about the weight gain. But in her reality, she's always being featured in the public eye. And she's, a, you know, a mover and shaker. And she has to be aesthetically pleasing, you know, because that's what society has gotten and based on what's true beauty. So she's rocking a lot of things here and there. Clothing. Um, you know, she branded herself with a clothing line. She's on a platform where she's promoting... Um, sex toys and stuff and you know she's trying to do movies and be in other sitcom shows or whatnot after you know her housewives role has ended because you know everything has a beginning and everything has an end and it just only fosters more good positive things and positive roles for her down the future and she has good karma she's treating people you know correctly and it seems like mama joyce did well in that attribute it gave a good character good judgmental people and she's always wanting to be helpful in giving back to the, to the community so i see nothing but good things for her uh she keeps up that uh train of thought that she's going but yes honey candy gave us face face and body honey face and body and i was him for it i'm like girl go on do your thing go on do your thing girl how did you do all this situation what what's going on you look at all pretty all fresh in the face and the body you know we you know she's very transparent when it comes to having surgeries and stuff of that nature so she did say that she did have an increase uh to have those voluptuous boobies but then it got to be too much for her too heavy and you know she just wanted to downsize them a lot so it seems like she may got a b cup now um but i want to like the a cup the last part of the a's wherever they go um because b cup is still nice and i was a b cup in high school but still it was just like a little bit too much for me but it just is what it is because i still don't know i might go on in glory with my big jugs you know i don't know i'm still out even though my mama wanted me to, to do it and it'll be better on my back and my shoulders but I'm just scared, y'all. I'm just scared. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, I'm going to pray about it. We, we can make it do what it do. But, you know, we have to get this COVID situation under control. You know, because they ain't trying to do no type of elective surgery. Unless you got something wrong with them boobies. Uh, that they're going to go in under the knife and take care of for you. Elective surgery is, is always being much, it's deemed to be like, you know, we'll get to you when we can. And they kind of push off the surgeries, you know, just because of the lack of 
uh, hospital staff and um, what do you call it? The uh, cleaning process, you know, it's become on a, a high type standard and, you know, they don't have too many staff members to help do what they need to do in a regular environment. So elective surgeries are kind of like not frowned upon right now, but they're like only taking like serious surgeries that, you know, it's going to be detrimental to your health. So I understand that. But anyway, moving on back to candy. And you know we got to be a little messy as we give people their their flowers and roses. But, you know, I was like, you know, she got her big sister Kenya looking over her. And Kenya definitely always look aesthetically pleasing to the eye when it comes to face and uh, her body. I ain't going to say fashion now because she's just getting into the realm of looking good with these fashions because she got a nice sleek body. You know, Kenya had really curves, curves, you know, like putting a little donk in the trunk kind of situation. But now she's just got a full eight hour or glass hour type figure. And, you know, she's flying it, child. She's showing and proving. She's giving us fashions, too, with it. Only person I can really say face and fashion, you know, Cynthia Bailey's going to have that all day long when it comes to the housewives and trying to make similarities and comparisons to them. But, you know, Kenya, she's, she's pulling out all the stops. She's, she's getting those little cat suits going, huh? And I'm like, ooh, girl, okay, I see you, girl. I'm trying to be like baby Porsche. Cause Porsche, no, she's like, oh, a good cat suit. And Marlo, she's good with fashion as well. But... Going back to Candy, because that's what we're really here for. But I was just trying to, you know, compliment Candy. And she has some problems with weight loss, whatever. She can always look to a source, can you? Because can you know the embodiment of a true body is what you put in there, as well as uh, how you exercise. And she's always been a good fanatic about stressing exercise and eating right and stuff of that nature. So we got to give Kenya her flowers, too, on this video. But I'm pretty sure... Candy may know some, you know, some secrets of Kenya that she don't want to expose. Okay, that's cool. We fair about that. Most people do. They have elective surgeries and they take um, diet pills and this, that, and the third. And they go, they start themselves, which are not good ways to do things. But to each his own. To each his own. You know what I'm saying? If you have a reaction, if you do an action, you're going to have a reaction. There's pros and cons with everything. But when it comes to your health, you got to play it smart and do what's right for you. And don't put yourself on the line when you're trying all these different methods of losing weight. Okay. But um, I read uh, Candy's article that somebody put out on her named Celeb Well, C-E-L-E-B Well. And they did an article today on her about her losing 30 pounds. I think in one interview she had said she wanted to lose 20, but then she wanted to lose 10 more. So I hopefully, hopefully Candace not being too obsessive with the weight loss because it looks very nice on her right now. But we don't want to see no anorexic looking bone skeletons uh, out there because then you're going to become my skeletor, okay? And we don't want any of that. And plus, Cynthia Bailey definitely has been in the um, the modeling world. And she can probably tell you both how it goes and how these uh, models get down and stay so thin. And majority of the time, it's not the healthy way of doing things. But uh, we've seen Cynthia plump out too. I don't know if it's happy weight or what's going on with her. But she's showing a good donkey donk back there too. And the thighs are hitting as well. So I don't know if she's getting too much getting too much loving or, or just eating too much because she's happy. Or she might be doing it because she's stressed out. Cause look at Mike. Look at Mike, okay? And I'm not talking about his looks. I'm just saying how he coming and going in these streets. And, and trying to be uh, visible at all points and all costs. You know what I'm saying? And I was wondering why Cynthia never talked about mike on the show on when she's on um what do you call it big brother i never call her in the essence of talking about missing mike and all this kind of stuff but you know her time is coming on uh big brother celebrity celebrity big brother because they don't they don't shade off a couple of people that i was watching only through video because I, I i just couldn't do it y'all couldn't sit and watch the show <laughs> It's just too elementary and just too dumb because I can't see anybody want to be in a house full of strangers trying to get to know them and trying to uh, see how they can get away with getting rid of them at the house. So, that I mean, uh, my time is needed to be doing other things than sitting and entertaining strangers, okay, to win money. But anyway, um, as we go into 
Candy's um, exploration of how she lost the weight, I kind of found some flaws. Now, they, 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 they just pitfalls for people of all ages, of all creeds and colors, okay? We don't want to do some of this thing because Candy didn't really explain herself thoroughly on how it can have a bad reaction. Or you can have a bad reaction when you're putting in certain things to lose weight and you're taking out certain things to lose weight you know we are uh women of different age groups and body types and medical uh illnesses or you know disorders so you got to be very careful when you're implementing a exercise regimen as well as an eating regimen because it could be detrimental to your health even though the best they plans are uh, good intended but sometimes some people do things uh, a little bit more than what they should be doing you know how they say less is more or too much of a good thing can be bad so everything has to be really done in moderation and check with your physician uh, prior to doing anything for us losing weight uh, to get a, a result quick you understand what I'm saying so uh, we know um, in her steps that she did to lose the 30 pounds, she had mentioned that she was using appetite suppressants. Now I'm going to tell people now, you can mess around, them, uh, mess around using them and, um, appetite suppressants if you want to, but I find yourself in the hospital dead, all right? Even though there are some, you know, good reputable people out there. But they don't really explain the bad side effects that they do have, which is about everything. You can have a side effects with taking uh, herbals or over-the-counter medications or prescription medications. But just do your due diligence and know this can't happen uh, to you if you enter in this type of regimen or you take this type of supplement to get those results you want as far as, you know, losing weight. Um, what you should Google is what you can eat naturally they can curb your appetites uh suppress or it can suppress your appetite and that would be doing it with more likely um uh, what do you call those free foods um that you can eat like cucumbers uh lettuce uh carrots uh stuff of that nature but if you google what foods you can naturally eat to curb your appetite you would get a plethora of healthy food choices uh, from the garden section <laughs> if you get drill, because you can eat them all day long and, and they ain't gonna do nothing because ain't no calories in them you see what i'm saying but you always want to definitely increase your water but you don't want to drink too much water because you can flush out your electrolytes because a lot of people they drink so much water even people that i know of have had conversations with um they pee and, and the pee be clear so you don't want that clear you don't look like no water pee because you're flushing out a lot of nutrients you're flushing out your electrolytes and you're going to be in a bad situation you know kidneys can shut down a lot of organs can shut down and you don't want that you need a like um a light tinted yellow pee you see what i'm saying very light tinted um and that shows that you're actually absorbing you're, you're staying hydrated for one but you know uh you're not losing anything that you need for your body to process foods and you know just to give you energy and stuff like that because you our body is made up on more water than anything else so uh you want to uh look for that um and you you know candace diet for me at my age is a little bit too extreme you know what i'm saying because when we get 54 we want to be able to eat what we want to eat but in moderation and, and we don't want nobody telling us what we can't have when we, you know, we want to have it. Cause we don't know when our last day on earth. That's always my motto. So I want to enjoy myself. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be miserable and sitting around eating, you know, food I could care less about and being irritated. And then I get taken, you know, home to glory the next day. That ain't going to be right. Because then I'm going to be up there, you know, having a conversation with the Lord. You know what I'm saying? And the Lord, he'll always listen to you. He know you're wrong. But he'll listen to you. <laughs> before he chastised you okay but you know i think everything that's done in moderation and you have a good mental outlook on it because really anything that you do and try to strive for it's all mental if you want to lose weight uh through exercise it's mental if you want to do it by food correct food choices it's mental so if you ain't got it upstairs and your mental capacity to know this is what we need to do to be able to look like we want to look you know what i'm saying and it's safe so just remember that as well. Uh, but when you take appetizer suppressants, you can have side effects like dizziness, insomnia, nervousness. You have issues with your digestive system producing negative uh, negative 
side effects like nausea, constipation, diarrhea, and you can actually have that I experienced personally when, you know, I was younger in my 20s and 30s um, with, with taking supplements because I only took it like one time. That's all it needed for me to take is just one time and make me feel the way I feel. I said, forget that. I go to a nutritionist and have them show me the correct way of eating, show me the correct way of exercising and, and having my cheat days. Because you can do, you can cheat like out of seven days, you can cheat one day and it won't uh, put you, set you back at all. But those other days you really not need to stay on point. Or, you know, some people that really like to exercise, really like to drink water, you can probably have two cheat days. But don't don't get in the habit of doing it. If you can, you know, eat properly on a daily basis and it's repetitive, you would be like mind over matter. It's just something you do. Because some people don't understand that food is basically to keep you nourished, to keep your body nourished and, and producing and, you know, having a good will all running machine which is your body, uh, it's just the cravings, the sugars and stuff, and, you know, these people know what they be doing, they be advertising all these things, and wanting us to crave those foods, and knowing we ain't got no, uh, what do you call it, uh, no good strength, for lack of a better word, to hold off on eating what we want to eat, because everything is processed sugars, processed fats, you know, everything is just processed out there, giving us the body, you know, that we don't want, and we overeat, we overindulge, and it's just a hot mess, a vicious cycle. But um, you also, uh, people that have glaucoma issues, cataracts and all that stuff, heart disease, hyper, hypothyroidism, uh, liver disease, uh, don't mess with anything that has phenomine in it or anything. Or really don't mess with no uh, diet, uh, diet, diet supplements anyway. Because uh, like I said, it can increase your heart rate. So, you just don't want to mess with it. If you already have a compromised um, uh, uh, autonomy or your body's already compromised due to uh, certain illnesses or disorders, just leave the shit alone. Don't uh, exacerbate whatever that's going on with you already. Don't add on to your plate with that uh, sense of wanting to use these uh, supplements to help you curb your appetite or make you not want to eat. Because that, then that's, you know, I'm like, you know, Candace should have said that. She should have said, well, just choose, you know, free foods out there. And you, you can Google free foods for weight loss. And you'll come up with a very garden uh, appetite of uh, foods you can choose from that have zero calories. So, um, usually what I like to do. Or like I like to see people do when they're telling other people or the masses. And they do have uh, both Kenya and uh, Kenya have a, a mass following of viewership on their platforms. And a lot of people like them and stuff. So they have to always do their due diligence and speak out the right thing. Because, you know, some things can't come back. But she was doing a fun interview. So we won't chastise her too much on that uh, as her serving you know, as a good community and a good citizen to don't put false stuff out there. But like I said, we, we're not going to uh, tap her hand this time. Well, we're going to tap her hand, but we're going to give her big hugs, you know, because we got to definitely sal salute her because she's definitely on a good journey. And hopefully she's doing it for herself and her well-being and not to keep Todd interested in her. You know what I'm saying? Because men are very fickle, you know, I guess women are too. Uh, but since I am a woman, I have to say men because they want you to be all tight and right and looking good 100% of the time. Every time they see you, you know, they, you're supposed to be looking like, I don't know, the Stafford woman where, you know, the Stafford wives where they just, uh, pretty primed and, uh, ready to go all the time. Makeup's on point, hair on point, breath on point, clothes on point, but they can look like, uh, Fat Joe, you know what I'm saying? A DK cat, uh, DJ Cali. You know, just looking all tied and through. But they want you to look pristine. So I got a problem with that. If I'm going to be pristine, I want you to be pristine too. All right? That's how we're going to do this. Because we 50-50 in this situation. We're married. So we're going to be looking out for each other. I ain't going to want you to be on that fruit. I mean, not the fruit, but uh, that pastry side over there. And, and, and eating all this red meat. And I'm over here eating salads and shit. Now, we're going to have that. We're going to both be suffering together and looking good. 
<laughs> I don't know if the attitude going to be on point. But, hey, we both going to be serving each other up with healthy things going in our body. And we ain't going to be drinking out there either because those are empty calories as well. And we can see how men turn on a different light on how they want their woman to be seen. Okay? But that's just me talking. You know how I go. Get my sidebar. But let's get on into this article that Celeb Well uh, had put out on Miss Candy Burst. And she was very help. Uh, she was helping them expose herself in all the laps of luxury of her looking fine and then well in tune, okay, with her body structure. So I was like, girl, go on, toot your own horn. I toot it for you. Hey, look at Candy. She's doing wonderful, great things with that body and that mind. Go ahead, girl. Go ahead. And Miss Kenya's doing the same thing. She's looking good. And I think dancing uh, with the stars did her well. Her attitude changed uh, for the better. I mean, everything was still going good with her after she had Brooklyn. She had a new outlook on life. She's more friendlier, more bearable. But, you know, her being free of marriage, and or bad marriage, I should say, and her wanting to get back into the dating life, and she's enjoying motherhood, she's enjoying putting herself first sometimes, that's a good thing, that's a good thing, Portia can learn a lot from her, her nemesis, okay, but anyway, the article goes on and say, Candy Burris is flaunting her recent weight loss after losing 30 pounds, 20 of which she gained during the pandemic. The Real Housewives of Atlanta star and former member of the skate showed off her phenomenal figure in a gold halter top swimsuit. Yes, while vacationing in the tropics. Living my life, it's golden. Living my life like it's golden. Yes, I remember that song, girl. Do it, do it, do it, do it. She captured the stunning images of herself. How did the 45-year-old majorly slam? down read on and to see five ways candy burst stays in shape and the photos that prove they work and to get beach ready yes yourself don't miss these essential 30 best ever celebrity bathing suit photos okay the first thing she says she got to work out she works out early in the a.m yes to get that rock body hard type figure stature she's given us an instagram story posted in september 2022 of 2020, Burris revealed that she gained 20 pounds during quarantine. The beginning of COVID, I was working out and I was in shape. And even then, I wanted to lose 10 more pounds. But I ended up getting lax and comfortable and I ended up gaining 20. So that means I had 30 pounds, of which I really would like to lose. And I just wanted to better myself overall. I just wanted to get used to making, making working out a part of my regular routine. She said she started working out with her cousin Patrick. He's a trainer. She revealed he got up and came to my house at 7 a.m. for us to work out. It's going to be our regular uh, routine, so I hope that I can stick to this. And I like how she uh, shouted out her cousin saying he's a trainer. So anybody that's close to Candy or, you know, fans or fanatics uh, of hers, her followers, uh, maybe she'll drop his link on how you can contact him and y'all can get in, uh, have your own personal trainer. If you can't afford his fees, okay? The second thing she said she did to get that massive weight off. And she's looking gorgeous, fabulous, living her life like it's golden, okay? She cut sugar and bread from her diet. And I said, okay, that's why I stopped. <laughs> that's why I pulled the cord for the train to stop. Let me off at the next depot stop. Because I can't, I won't, I shall not. Give up my sugar or my bread. Okay, I'm 54 years old. I know I keep telling y'all that, but I'm telling y'all how the nonsense just got to go out the door. Candy cut completely out her sugar intake and her bread. Now, I'm like, wait a minute. They said in that uh, pyramid uh, or the dietary structure of what, you know, what we supposed to go about by putting certain portions in our diet, like your food, your pro what protein, your uh, carbohydrates, your, you know, all your sugar, all that kind of stuff. Y'all know the uh, food pyramid I'm talking about. Uh, child, no, there's some sugar in there, even if it ain't nothing but uh, good sugar. And we got to have some bread. Bread, we got to have energy, baby. That's where that shit come from. So you can miss me with this diet. <laughs> I, I don't got off of the train that you were caboosing us on. No, ma'am. But anyway, let's go back to the article. All right. In March 2021, she revealed that her weight loss journey was successful. The, uh, she's lost 20 pounds since November. She told Hollywood Life, I want to lose 10 more pounds. She also revealed that cutting out two things from her diet was the game changer. Sugar and bread. Now, what's what what do black folk really like? And I'm talking about from the southern people. I ain't talking about for, you know, 
all these different other methods of you know keto diet the mediterranean diet all that kind of, we ain't talking about that shit we talking about southern people from the south that like good food okay food that's comforting food that gets your spirit so richly <laughs> so richly in power girl we talking about soul food all right but candace said she gave up sugar and bread okay i took out all sweets she said i stopped eating all sweets and bread i'm like girl all right anybody else got off the train with me let me know we'll be hollering in the corner eating our rolls our biscuits our pancakes our cornbread <laughs> we'll be over there being happy all right but the other thing she did number three she only drank water now i can get with her to a certain extent because i am trying to cut back on my drinking tape i don't drink alcohol or anything that uh that attains to that because I have high blood pressure and certain medicines I'm on I, you can't take with alcohol you shouldn't it impairs you but uh I love myself a cold ginger ale every day you know what I'm saying that's just a part of my regimen I gotta have me a ginger ale and I know it's mine over matter I want to hear people don't, I'm in the back I'm in the, uh, for the people in the back that can't seem to get it together I'm back there <laughs> <laughs> I'm off to the party back there. Okay, so for the back, leave me alone. I need my ginger ale. Okay, and people of my status, my age group, they'll tend to tell you the same thing as well. All right, certain things we ain't going to give up. We just, it ain't going to happen. Okay, it's just not going to happen. We just going to look fat, flabby, and all that because we ain't giving it up. But anyway, she says she only drank water. Okay, another way that can achieve weight loss success was eliminating all sugary beverages. I only drink water no juices nothing like that nothing anything i only just drunk water i, I guess for breakfast lunch and dinner and, and snacks you just had water oh my god but anyway she lost the weight that way she added to hollywood life so how much fluid does the average healthy adult living in a temperature climate need well the u.s national academics of science engineering and medicine determined that an adequate daily fluid intake is says the mayo clinic about 15.5 cups, which is 3.7 liters of fluid a day for men. About 11.5 cups, 2.7 liters of fluids uh, for a woman. Okay, these recommendations cover, cover fluids from water, other beverages, and food. About 20% of daily food intake usually comes from food and the rest from drinks. Okay, the number four, which I don't agree with. Uh, people can argue with me back and forth, but I know for a fact that with taking these weight loss suppressant, appetite suppressant pills, they can send you for a negative spin and throw your whole body chemistry off. But she says for number four, she took an appetite suppressants. All right. Candy also admits to taking appetite suppressants so I didn't feel hungry all the time, she told Hollywood Life. I'm not even going to lie to you. I needed a little help. So it just helped me stay on course. Uh, be careful before taking any supplements for weight loss. It's important to do your homework if you're thinking about trying a weight loss supplement. Check credible websites such as those run by the U.S. Office of Dietary Supplements and the National Center for Complementary and Integrative Health set the Mayo Clinic. Also be sure to talk with your doctor before taking any supplement. This is especially important if you have health problems, take prescription drugs, or pregnant or breastfeeding. So you see I gave y'all all that before I read this story with you all. Okay. So that was good that these uh this particular celeb will put that information in there i would have hoped that candy would have said it first before she said this is what she did but either or it's still in her article that celeb webb did and they did confront that issue that i was telling you was detrimental uh for anyone that's trying to do it you could be a healthy person you can be a moderately health healthy person um uh, you could be a person that's on borderline with their health or you know you could just be just all willy-nilly out there you know you're in moderation with everything but you know you know uh, some chemical makeup of that uh weight loss suppressant it could be detrimental to you like they used to have thetamine in it or something like that and that does increase your heart rate and if you're already a person that suffers with 
heart issues you don't need that kind of exercise going on in your body just because you want to lose a little weight here and there no ma'am no ma'am and you know like i said you you have to really get your mindset before you do any weight loss with exercising or dieting because if you don't have it mentally together you're going to struggle every day you're going to be unhappy every day especially with something that you don't really want to do but you know it's good for you you don't need to you know search for appeal to uh, uh suppress your appetite you just need to get it mentally and say look we want this body we want this body for life and we got to be connected with one another okay mind body spirit that's three um hierarchies i live by well i, I know by but i ain't gonna say i live by them every day because you know sometimes i gotta have i gotta have sweets I, I gotta have it girl i gotta have it i'm not trying to be diabetic i'm not diabetic but you gotta have it and everybody that's on my channel that loves uh kenya Moore, make sure you pick up her hair products at some drugstore near you or beauty supply company okay i'm sure they're out there for you to partake of just have to do it for my Real Housewives of Atlanta, people doing their thing, having their business. And also, definitely go see Candy Birds when it comes to the like, bedroom candy. You know, that getting your sexy back on. Go, partri go partake of that as well. Okay, two beautiful, successful women out there trying to do the thing that makes them stay entrepreneurs. So, go support them. All right, all right. Okay, the next one, she says, number five, she fast. Now, again, do this in moderation. You know, if you're doing it for a spirituality purpose, I understand. But people that got medical issues, sometimes you can't do the full fast. And check with your pastor. Or just Google it and see what is being said about fasting. Because, you know, some people take medication. Some people can't fast. You know, go without food or water or more so food or your favorite, um, favorite food that you want to give up. For Lent, like for some people around uh, the Easter holidays, uh, things of that nature. Or, you know, like Candy, she's trying to lose weight. And I said, damn that, you know what I'm saying? Not damn fast enough, I'm going to get me wrong. But I'm not going to be fasting up him. And then taking appetite suppressants, hell to the no, no, no. But see, Candy wanted, uh, I guess, immediate results. So she had to do those things that were going to give her those immediate results and make her feel good about herself and continue on her weight loss journey. But, uh-uh. No. No. <laughs> I'm just saying it's enough. Well, hell, I'm already off the choo-choo train when she talking about get, get rid of my sugars and shit. Because I know I ain't finna do that. Mm -mm. So, she's talking about uh, she was fasting for two months you know what i'm saying most people pick a uh particular month in the year to fast to show uh pay homage to their lord and savior or their god or you know whoever they choose to serve as their god and they used to do a fasting ritual for 30 days of taking some out their lifestyle far as you know things that they like to do they just fast from it and have time like i said it's food you know these sugar or fried foods or something to that nature that you're giving up because you know you want a certain result to happen most people do it for the lord and uh try to pay homage uh to what they're trying to ask the lord for or just you know praising him for letting them be who they are you know what i'm saying so uh that's what she said uh, but let's go on. well that's what i said but let's see what she said in this article uh, she says, uh, Ken is also a, f a fan of fasting. I always do this prayer fast during the first month of the year. Ken told Hollywood Life, but I actually did it for two months, December and January. There's another type of fasting called alternative day fasting. Followers of alternative day fasting adhere to a schedule that switches back and forth between eating and fasting. Those who abide by this diet alternate between one feast day and one feast day fast day so one feast day where you eat one fast day you don't eat which typically includes a 500 calorie meal and honey 500 dollars i mean 500 calories ain't net the hell you can breathe in um just a uh what she gave out bread so i don't know what she could be eating uh maybe some protein shit i don't know but take it believe it uh, 500 calories is nothing uh maybe you eat a couple of rice cakes uh some water and you're almost there. 
And anybody ate her damn rice cake, y'all know what I'm talking about. Whoo, child. You be like, you want to eat that whole damn bag. They try to get full. But, you know, like I say, mind over matter, mind over matter. But she said, um, uh, it's a 500 calorie meal. And I'm thinking that's for the whole day, you know. She ain't be specific, but, you know, I'm thinking it's for the whole day. Says our sister, site eat this not that the trick is to make sure you are still eating healthy on days when you are not fasting heather hanks uh miss cam nutritionist and medical advisor at medical solutions bcn told eat this not that if you're overindulging in calories from refined sugars and carbs you'll throw your insulin and hunger hormones levels off and wind up storing up more glyco glycogen than you're burning Okay, and basically those were her five little hints on how she lost her weight and how she's maintaining. And I'm like, girl, get out of here. <laughs> yeah, like I said, you lost me at number two. You lost me at number two, but for those who can adhere to her strict, uh, stringent diet plan, go partake of it. But just uh, do your due diligence, do your research, and talk with your uh, physician to see how far you can go into something like that without doing anything or any harm to your body but shout out to straight from the a i got that little picture from um just a website where i put up candy and images but i like to um definitely pay homage or pay respect to people that put things out there whether using a clip or a, a picture that they use for one of their videos you still want to also shout them out and tell people to go over there and see them and that's what i'm doing um, I'm going to see Miss um, <coughs> Michelle Brown over there at um, Straight from the A. She's a good uh, commentary type person. Uh, she has her own uh, show. Uh, <coughs> good blogger. Just go ahead and tell the Del Snell 44 since you're on over there. But yes, honey. Ooh, child, you can use all these weight loss supplements and, and do all this exercise and eating. If you ain't got your mind straight, all of us is going to go to hell, okay? That's all I'm saying. All of us going to go to hell. But thank you, Candy, for showing us or telling us about your truly profound weight loss uh, goal that you set for yourself and you achieved it well. Salute to you, girl. Keep doing the good work, the good fight, and maintaining your body right, keeping it tight. But I'm hoping you're doing it for yourself now. And, you know, have longevity for your kids and your family. And you're not doing it for that big old head Todd over there. Because <coughs> it seems like he could be doing some uh, exercise and eating right as well, too. But that's all I got for this video, guys. If you like it, love it, can I have more? Stay tuned. Always check in with me. Put that notification bell on so you'll know when I drop videos. When you come in in the house, make sure you like that button when you're leaving. Going home, getting into your own little groove without me. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and share my videos. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.